This is Barry Zelma, Zelma on insurance. I'm an attorney who has retired from the practice of law and now spend my time as an insurance claims consultant and expert witness and author and producer of these videos. Today I'd like to talk about Zelma's insurance fraud letter of October 1, 2020. It is, for me, an important date because on October 1, 1979, I started my own practice of law. So today, October 1, 2020, is an anniversary. 41 years ago, on October 1, 1979, I left the world of the employed and became an entrepreneur by opening my own law firm. The law firm was incorporated shortly thereafter as Barry Zelma, Inc. When I opened for business on October 1, 1979, I had no clients and no certainty that I would have any in the future. I had borrowed money from the bank to carry me through the first six months and was concerned about my ability to pay the loan with my third child about to be born. Much to my surprise and pleasure, on October 1, 1979, at 8.10 in the morning, the best claims handler in the London, England market at Lloyd's, Alan Warboys, called from London and provided me with my first case as an independent lawyer to represent certain underwriters of Lloyd's, London. He and the Lloyd's underwriters he represented showed faith in me as a lawyer and as an insurance expert. Allen is now and will forever be my firm's first client and is still and will always be a good friend. He is retired from the market now and I am retired from the practice of law. And although I retired from the practice of law, I still work an eight-hour day, five days a week, as a consultant, author, blogger, and video blogger. I was admitted to the California Bar on January 2, 1972. I practiced law in California full-time until I retired from the practice of law in 2015. To those of you, in addition to Alan, who have honored me by retaining me as your lawyer, thank you for a long, productive, and successful legal career. In 2015, I asked that the California Bar render my license to practice law inactive, and it agreed. I now limit my work to acting as an insurance claims handling, insurance fraud, insurance and insurance bad faith consultant, expert witness, educator, and author. From all intents and purposes, regardless of what it appears, I am not retired. I'm 78 years old, in great physical condition, my mind still works, and I am still an effective consultant, expert, and author. Today, the publication of Zalma's Insurance Fraud Letter, nearing the end of its 24th year of publication, in this issue of Zalma's Insurance Fraud Letter, you can read how to comply with the California SIU Regulations 2020 that came into effect on October 1, 2020, and that you can review my book, the California SIU Regulations 2020, so that you will be able to fulfill the requirements of the regulations as now amended. In that regard, I have completed a resource for everyone involved in the insurance industry in the state of California 
to enable them to comply with the newly revised California SIU regulations, since the revisions add much to the obligations of insurers doing business in California. The new book, California SIU Regulations 2020, is a book explaining the revised SIU regulations and is now available from Amazon.com and from my website, Zalma.com, by clicking on the link to the Insurance Claims Library. From the table of contents, the new book reveals the SIU regulations, the fraud division, the California SIU regulations, the SIU investigator, full text and commentary on the Special Investigation Unit regulations, identifying insurance fraud, the Insurance Frauds Prevention Act's full text, an outline for training of integral anti-fraud personnel, property insurance fraud red flags, red flags of fraud at the time a policy is acquired, red flags of fraud associated with the insured, red flags of fraud in personal injury claims, red flags of premium fraud, red flags of vehicle fraud, red flags of occupation fraud, red flags of, that are revealed from personal demeanor, red flags of fraud due to the timing of the visit of the insured to an agent, red flags of fraud of, of any kind, how to make a fake appraisal, plan for document recording and file retention, by the insurance company and forms for the use of the SIU investigator and insurance company. The book is designed to assist California insurance claims personnel, claims professionals, independent insurance adjusters, special fraud investigators, private investigators who work for the insurance industry, the management in the industry, the attorneys who serve the industry, and all integral anti-fraud personnel working with California admitted insurers who must comply with the requirements of the new SIU regulations that were rewritten and made operative in October 1, 2020 and must be fulfilled no later than April of 2021. The state of California, by statute, requires all admitted insurers to maintain a special investigative unit and SIU. The SIU must comply with the requirements set forth in the special investigative unit regulations, the SIU regulations, and train all integral anti-fraud personnel to recognize indicators of insurance fraud annually and no later than 90 days after they are hired. It is necessary, therefore, that insurance personnel who are engaged in any way in the presentation, processing, or negotiation of insurance claims in California to be familiar with the SIU regulations. The state has imposed on all claims personnel duties to deal with insurance fraud if the insurers are doing business in the state. California licensed insurers are required by California Insurance Code sections 1875.20 through 24 and the California Code of Regulations to establish and maintain special investigative units that identify and refer suspected insurance fraud to the California Department of Insurance and directly to the local county district attorney's office for workers' compensation only. The regulations also require each insurer to submit an SIU annual report to the department which provides important information regarding the insurer's SIU anti-fraud operations procedures, and training material. 
The SIU Compliance Review Program evaluates the accuracy, completeness, and timeliness of the report. The reports are used to conduct a risk assessment to help determine which insurers are selected for SIU Compliance Review. Risk criteria include, but are not limited to, prior SIU compliance review findings, as well as follow-up on recommendations and corrective compliance plans. Discrepancies and or non-compliance issues identified by analyzing the SIU annual report. Quantity and or quality of suspected insurance fraud referrals to the Department of Insurance and referrals to the California County District Attorney's offices for workers' compensation, lines of insurance that are relatively risky and susceptible to fraud, nature and or quantity of complaints received against a particular insurer, the market share of the insurer, late or no response to written information demands from the Department of Insurance or other authorized governmental agencies, and the California Department of Insurance Executive Directives. By following the training recommendations in the book, insurers can inoculate themselves against the potential for paying enormous fines to the Department of Insurance for failure to comply with the amended SIU regulations. The appendices attached to the book include outlines to be used by a staff member of the insurance company SIU, its trainers, educators, or lawyers who present a training class for all of the integral anti-fraud personnel of the insurers as defined by the SIU regulations. Insurers must understand that every claims employee, every claims employee must be trained in accordance with the requirements of the SIU regulations no later than 30 days after the person is hired and annually thereafter. As it is not economically reasonable to train one new employee, the California SIU Regulations 2020 book can provide the needed training without the additional expense of a training class for one or two persons. The California SIU Regulations 2020 and its appendices will provide the insurer and its staff with the information needed to comply with the SIU regulations and will provide the training required by what the SIU regulations describe as one of the insurer's integral anti-fraud personnel. As you go through the newsletter, you will learn about good news from the Coalition of Insurance Fraud relating to convictions for insurance fraud, how causing a false claim of items lost to an insurer is fraud is found by the uh, Supreme Court of the State of New York appellate decision in a case called the People of the State of New York versus Terrell L. Murray. You will learn about health insurance fraud convictions over the last 15 days. You will learn about how there are videos on YouTube and Rumble.com from Barry Zelma relating to insurance claims and insurance law. You will learn about other insurance fraud convictions, which include murder for life insurance money and various other insurance fraud attempts throughout the world. You will also learn about books available from the Zelma Insurance Claims Library. If you found this video to be of use, please, please go to the uh, reference to Zelma's insurance fraud letter. It can be read fully uh, with this and the last issue uh, by clicking on the link provided with this video, and it can also give you reference to other facts, books, 
and videos and training programs that will be of use to you and all insurance claims personnel. If you liked it, please refer this video to one of your colleagues. It's free. And please subscribe to the newsletter by clicking on the link available. Please subscribe to my YouTube and Rumble channels, and please subscribe to my blog so that you can learn about future videos, blog posts, and information of use to any person involved in claims and insurance fraud. Thank you for your attention.